Welcome back everyone. Uh, today this is another little episode, finally something more interesting. We're going to be smoothing out my Corsa bumper. <clears throat> so what I've done is cut a bit of plastic. One second, let me just find it. Oops. So I've got a bit of plastic which we're going to weld in today because that is a little bit too deep and I don't particularly want to fill it so it all cracks out so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little template cut this weld this in just to make it a little bit shallower and then we're going to use some plastic filler and smooth it out so stay tuned and we're going to get this done right now So my little template's done. We're just going to put that on the other plastic bit. So I've just been grinding away, trying to make it fit. As you see, it's not looking too bad. Unfortunately, I look like a damn snowman now, covered in white plastic filings. So the next stage is to DA the paint off both panels. So it's nice clean plastic so we can weld on there. And then we can uh, finally put some filler in it and smooth it out. So I'm just going to clean up these panels and uh, we'll see you when they're done. So we're all fitting in now. What I've done is put a little bit of um, double-sided tape behind it just to hold this in place while I weld it in because I didn't want it like flapping around too much while I'm trying to plastic weld in. But hopefully you can see what kind, what we're going for. 
So we'll probably just time lapse this bit because there's quite a lot of plastic welding or we might just skip past it and just show you me putting filler in and the end result. So we'll see how we go. Oh wow. So I'm not going to uh, lie, the uh, plastic welder wouldn't stick to the coarser bumper. I don't know if it's because there was too much material on it or what. So what we're going to use is Inertech Top Fix which I've done before. This is what these holes are filled in with. Like they goes absolutely solid. So I've just put a couple of little bits on just to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna get a spreader now. We're gonna go over the whole thing and spread it in. And this I'll have to leave overnight so it goes rock solid. And then I can rub it down in the morning and we can skim it over. So not really particularly the way I wanted to go with it, but this stuff will work. So if you are doing this at home, you can use Inertech Top Fix. It's quite expensive though, I think it's like 11 pound a tube i'm probably going to need like three tubes on here so i've smoothed this in a little best we can it's a little bit messy sometimes but looking at a da won't sort out we can flat it smooth after and then skim over it so that's done so i can't do much more today so i will see you tomorrow when we sand this down and skim it and smooth it out so our little inner tech glue's gone off as it's the next day, rock solid. Um, what I'm going to do is just go over this with 80 grit, D8 flat, then we can skim it with some filler. So hopefully this will be looking smooth in a little while. So we're all DA flat. I'm just gonna mix some uh, plastic filler up now and skim it. And then uh, we'll come back when it's all uh, finished. So I've been trying to get this bumper done now for over about a week or two, but work's got manic. So I'm just going to use some YouTube magic and let Lewis sort it out. So I want a second skim and I think this will probably be the last skim to be fair and it's done. Um, we're just going to come back when I've ripped it down as you've seen me do it like a million times already. And then we can show you the finished product. But I think you get the gist of the idea. I think it looks a lot better than having the number plate dropped in and the two little black moldings either side. So <clears throat> we'll see you shortly. 
So we finally finished our little smoothed out bumper. Uh, I went over it with 320 and then 500 on a soft pad, which obviously will be great. It's lovely and smooth now. I've still kept the line in the middle, so it follows down onto the bottom also. So I hope you like this. Uh, please don't forget to sub, hit the little notification bell and like the video. We'll all see you in the next one. See you later.